The first commercial we're going to show you is a banned cigarette commercial from 1961. It features Fred and Barney from the Flintstones having a Winston cigarette while their wives work. They sure work hard, don't they, Barney? Yeah. I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Um, let's go around back where we can't see them. Gee, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? Hey, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston's got that filter blend. Yeah, Fred. Filter blend makes the big taste difference, and only Winston has it up front where it counts. Here, ahead of the pure white filter. Winston packs rich tobaccos specially selected and specially processed for good flavor in filter smoking. Yeah, Barney, Winston tastes good like a cigarette chug. The Flintstone has been brought to you by Winston, America's best-selling, best-tasting filter cigarette. Winston tastes good like a cigarette chug. This next commercial is advertising the original Coca-Cola. The woman in this ad is telling all about how Coca-Cola is her favorite drink. You know, this was me five years ago, and it's still me. Because I confess I'm a waistline watcher from way back. Well, that's enough for today. Now for a lively lift. Ice cold Coca-Cola. There's no waistline worry with Coke, you know. Actually, this individual size bottle has no more calories than half a grapefruit. Mmm, another thing, the cold, crisp taste of Coke is so satisfying, it keeps me from eating something else that might really add those pounds. Coke's a natural, wholesome blending of pure food flavors. I guess that's why everyone likes the refreshing new feeling you get, only from not-too-sweet Coca-Cola. And no wonder, lively, lifty Coca-Cola provides a welcome bit of quick energy between meals. Makes for a pleasant pause in a busy day. Oh, and remember, Coke is low in calories, too. Say, now, don't you get any thinner. The third commercial is one advertising the Volvo Amazon car. Their slogan was, drive it like you hate it, emphasizing the sturdiness of the car. Volvo gets over 25 miles in a gallon of gas, just like the little economy cars, and runs away from other popular-priced compacts in every speed range. commercial in our video is advertising Gaines Burgers dog food. They show off that it's easy to travel with because it doesn't come in a can. This is more fun than chasing squirrels. I'm a lucky dog to be going along on their vacation. Hi, fellas. Funny looking dogs. Sure grow them big out here. Hey, hey, we're coming to a stop. Must be time for supper. Good, because I'm hungry. Bet if it weren't for Gaines Burgers, I wouldn't be here at all. Because Gaines Burgers go anywhere. They don't have to be refrigerated like canned dog foods. Why, two of those beefy Gaines Burgers give me all the nourishment of a one-pound can of the finest dog food, and none of the bother. They give me everything I need and like. Beef, a vegetable, minerals, milk solids, vitamins. It's the canned dog food without the can. Another fine product from General Foods. Have Gaines Burgers, we'll travel. The last commercial we're going to show you is a campaign ad for Lyndon B. Johnson's presidency. It conveys Johnson's message of peace by saying that this is what will happen if you don't vote for him. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, six, six, eight, nine, nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. These are the 
the stakes to make a world in which all of God's children can live or to go into the dark. We must either love each other or we must die. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home. Now we're going to show you some ads from 1960 to 64. The products vary from Yogi Bear shows to Oreos. Please enjoy these retro ads while listening to the band Animal singing The House of the Rising Sun from 1964. There is a house in New Orleans. These next ads are from an actual newspaper from November 5th, 1963. Notice how low the price is on everything. The paper cost 7 cents on the day it was sold. 